Okay. That should do it. All right. Hey, <laughs> what's up? Uh, thanks for clicking through. Let me show you. I used to be very skeptical about baits this size. Man down, man down. Let me show you what changed my mind. That's a good fish. Oh boy. Bro, 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 bro. I want you to chill. Cool, thank you. Oh man. Now look, I'm gonna <laughs> apply lessons learned here and go straight to pliers. First glide bait catch right there. <laughs> Thanks, girly. I'd kiss you, but you're kind of muddy. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. We're going to see if we can repeat that. That was my first bite on a bait this big. That's the 13 Fishing Glidesdale in the rusty bream color. What do you do when you get your first bite on a big glide bait? You go buy some more. I wouldn't be me if I didn't get carried away, so I got a big old box here from Tackle Warehouse to show you. And we're gonna cut right into that right now. Got the beard's eye view going here. Now you are going to see some random things in this box and then we're gonna get back to the theme here all right look first we got some very shiny top water the KVD splash top water popper now I want y'all to know I have never gotten a top water bite out on that creek I'm thinking it's because the water is just too dirty for them to see most stuff so that's why I chromed it out. I'm hoping to catch some sunlight on there and that'll blast through that stained water. So we're gonna give that a shot. It's summertime after all. They're gonna be hungry for some top water. So we're gonna tie that on something, see how it goes. That's gonna be my mission this summer and into the fall is to try and get a top water bite out on the creek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So subscribe if you wanna see how that mission goes. And then we've got Spinnerbait. Now as you can see, we've got that brownish color, which is just a hair darker than the creek that I fish a lot, with a little bit of orange and some chartreuse splattered in there. Now that's been pretty successful out in the creek with the Nico Winnow in the Eclipse color. So naturally, you know what's going on that. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I like it. Now we're getting more into the theme of the bigger baits. We've got some really big crank baits. This one right here is crazy. That's, again, I'm having the same reaction that I had to the Glidesdale over there. It's just unbelievable how big this thing is and it's got me real skeptical, but we'll see. It's the KVD 8.0. Dives three to seven feet, and I've got a very particular spot in mind for this guy. And there's the KVD 4.0, and a bit of a louder color. And that one dives six feet. So I've got just the combo in mind, and just the lake in mind. Pond, lake, sort of sort of lake <laughs> yeah anyway gotta try those on that 13 combo next we've got the river to sea s waiver and that's in a chromed out color for those sunny days 
It's the S Waver 168, and it is one and five eighths ounce. This is another good entry level glide bait. It's not as heavy as, say, the Glidesdale over there, which is two and a half ounces, which is going to require some pretty hefty gear to throw. Whereas this is only one and five eighths, so it's not as bad. You're still going to need a pretty decent heavy action rod, but not as crazy. And this is the mid-size one. The next one up is quite a significant jump in price, so I didn't want to go there. And I also wanted to get multiple colors. That's the bone for the cloudy days. All right, last but certainly not least, this is another one that makes me, again, kind of skeptical. But after the Glidesdale, I've got hope for it. That is the Ganterelle. It is a hefty two and a half ounces. It looks every bit of that weight. I got to take this thing out of the box just to see how it feels and how it looks. But man, you want to talk about some chunky baits, boy. Get up out of there. Oh my goodness. She packed in there good. All right. Wow. Look at that monster. Loving that. That bodes well for our creek out here. Seem to love that orange out there. And there's a lot of bluegill in those waters. In the creek and the pond. Of course, it's far more likely I'm going to get hit in the pond with this thing, being that it's a lot clearer water. Let's see what kind of noisemaker we got in here. All right, so there is some kind of rattle in there. Feels like a hefty knocker. Ow, I'm sticking myself. <laughs> Okay, you know I gotta tie that on and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna throw that in the pond first, see how it does in the clear water. Oh, that's cool. See, it's got a little eyelet on the back there if you wanna throw on a trailer hook. <laughs> All right, she's ready to go. So am I. Now look here. I just noticed this thing says, fish near cover. Boy, I ain't throwing this thing near cover. This was not cheap. You are not going to catch me throwing this into a tree and getting those big old hooks stuck on the side of it. Uh-uh. No, no. Not near cover for me. No, sir. We're going to be a very good distance. <laughs> a healthy distance from some cover with this thing. At least until I get used to it. it ain't no way I'm bank fishing this thing around cover. Mm. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time as always. And click on over here if you like these unboxing videos. There's another one right there. If you want to see some of this stuff in use, Check out the playlist here and subscribe over here. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. All right.